Welcome back to another This Week in Warframe. This is going to be for the week of September 8th through September 15th. And before we get into all the good stuff, let's see uh, Bird this week. Remind you to stop by and check him out. He's got a Crimson Archon Shard for 30,000 standing, which you certainly want to get. We also have this week, a lot of you may know that he has decided to do corruption alerts. So this week we have an alert coming this Friday for a depleted reload and 30,000 credits. It is going to be, I believe, a 10-minute survival that starts on September 13th, and it will go from 11 a.m. to September 16th on 11 a.m. This is Eastern Standard Time, and that's just for a depleted reload. Personally, I'm not going to bother doing that, because 10 minutes of a survival just for one simple mod and 30,000 credits. Uh, if you're new and you need it, that's great, but otherwise, I don't really see why it's worth it. We also have Deep Archimedia this week with a Disruption, Mirror Defense, and an Alchemy Mission. And... Let's see what else we got. So if we check out Prime Resurgence, what's currently happening right now, we've got a Neja and Octavia Prime Dual Pack here that is going to be around for another 17 days and 17 hours. We also have the Ember and Rhino uh, Relics, if you guys want to grab them as well, for another 45 days. So either Neja, Octavia, their weapons, or Ember and Rhino and their weapons, you can go grab those now. We also have... Uh, let's see. For the alerts, we've got Thermia Fractures has another 7 days and 15 hours left. Reminder to do your Maru's Weekly Ayatan Treasure Hunt for this week. As far as invasions, we really only have a Latron Wraith Stock versus a Dera Vandal Barrel. And that has a little bit of time left to it. And that's really it for those. We also have today's sortie was a Hijack, Interception, and an Assassination. And this week's Archon Hunt is against Archon Naira. This is for an Ember Archon Shard. We have a Sabotage, Interception, and a Showdown. If we check out what's going on with Nora this week, we have the usual 500 enemies, 15 missions, and 30 Eximuses to take care of, but we also have uh, Kill a Tusk, Thumper, Dilma in the Plains of Eidolon. We have Defend Both Beer Defense Objectives three times each in a single mission. Uh, we have 100 enemies with a Necromech, 500 enemies with an Art Gun, and today's daily is one mod transmutation which is pretty easy to do in your mod section of the uh, of the uh, ship or whatever, of the orbiter. So if we check out the aura mods that are this week, we've got Steel Charge, Holster Amp, Deadly Maneuvers for the Magnus, Rifle Amp, uh, I mean Rifle Scavenger, Shotgun Scavenger, Deadeye, and Dizzying Rounds. Now of all these that we're seeing right here, of just the aura mods, not the gold ones, uh, Steel Charge is the best option you have if you're looking to make extra Platinum, but we're a week into Nightwave, so I don't know how many of you actually have the 150 credits just sitting there. You might want to hold on to those and stock up on these later, if there's other things you might need that are more important for you, but, you know, if you've been playing as long as I have and these don't mean a thing, then Steel Charge, maybe even Deadeye would be helpful as well for just some extra Plat. Purifying Flames we also have for Ember, we have Deceptive Bond for Loki, Skull Shots for the Viper, and Purging Slash for Excalibur. If we check out Daviri, we will see here on Steel Path. Oh yeah, by the way, Steel Path Incursions, Exterminate, Survival, Survival, Capture, Capture, Exterminate. That's great. We also have uh, Lex Incarnan, Magistar, Boltor, Bronco, and the Ceramic Dagger Incarnans for this week. Personal favorite is the Voltor. I enjoy this a lot. A lot of people will definitely say that the Ceramic Dagger is amazing. I don't disagree. I personally just don't really care about the melee weapons and their, like, the, the incarnate melee weapons. I don't like the way that they all feel like the same damn thing. But if you don't care, I know the Ceramic Dagger is a big deal to a lot of people, but I personally love the Voltor of, of these options. If you already have those, you can scroll over to the right, grab a rifle, pistol, melee, riven, or even 20,000 kuva. And if we check out normal circuit, we're looking at hydroid, mirage, and limbo as your as your options. I believe hydroid we get from doing earth, unless that's changed a long time ago, but I believe hydroid you get from doing vehek on earth. And uh, I don't actually remember. Limbo is a... Uh, Actually, both of these, I think, are quests. It's been so long. You guys have been playing this game for 10 years. The last time I had to do any of these things, you get these basic frames. Jesus, I don't even remember. But if I had to recommend which one to get, not Hydroid, if you can farm him out from Vehex still. Um, actually, really, it doesn't matter. They're all they're all fairly easy, I guess. How much Platinum have you made since you've become a Patreon? Over 100k. 
Uh, 45k. 60, 70,000. Uh, 20,000. What's the most amount of platinum you've made in a week? 12k. Probably about 5,000. Uh, 5,400. Probably 8k. What's the most amount of platinum you've made in a day? 5,400. Day was probably 4k. Probably about 3,000. 2k. What's your favorite method of making platinum that you've learned from me? Mostly just flipping ribbons and selling warframes. Probably arbitrations. Selling sets of warframes. I enjoy Zeramon the most. Imagine how much time and money they've saved. You know where the links are. All right, checking out Akrethis and the wares that she brought this week. We have a Kimbo Slipshot, which is just going to be around for today for 10 Pathos Clamps. We have an Exilus Weapon Adapter for 20 Pathos Clamps, a Formal Blueprint for 10 Pathos Clamps, and a Roking Catalyst Blueprint for 20 Pathos Clamps, a Pistol Riven Mod for 15 Pathos Clamps. And then everything seems to be what she typically brings. Visiting Archimedean Yanta and browsing her wares. Reminder to stop by and get your 35,000 Kuva for 5 Void Plume Pinions. Steel Path Honors Teshin this week has a Veiled Riven Cypher for 20 Steel Essence and a Shotgun Riven Mod for 75 Steel Essence. We also have Captain of the Butt Cheese over here with his browsing merchandise. He's got a ten Tenant Ferox 36% Radiation, a Tenant Grigori 42% Magnetic, Tenant Livia 25% Heat, a Tenant Exec 27% Heat, and a Tenant Agendus 33% Magnetic. I would skip all these just wait another day 23 hours left i would just wait another day and then come back tomorrow and see if he's got anything better than that with higher percentages aladino and iron wake remind you to stop by get yourself a riven mod for 10 riven slivers then get yourself another riven mod for 10 riven slivers then get yourself 35,000 kuva for 10 riven slivers and if you need it or want it or care five riven slivers for 150,000 credits Invigorations are going to be different for everybody, but this week, this is a reminder to check yours out. I've got a Nyx for 250% secondary damage, plus 75% sprint speed, Korra with plus 200% secondary critical chance, immune to status effects, and Hydroid with plus 100% ability range and 75% ability efficiency. Like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Stop by my Twitch channel, I'm live every day. You guys can ask questions, hang out with the community, and uh, just get close and whatnot. Ask all the Warframe questions you need, but for now, Thank you for watching. I will see you guys later.